So for the first warm up, we're going to start with the neck. So just take it to the right, back to the middle, to the left, back to the middle. Try and get a little bit further each time. Those necks are getting stiff as we get older. One more to the left. And then we're going to go down to the chest and up. Nice and steady, nothing too strenuous for the neck. Keep breathing throughout, don't hold your breath. One more, and look right back and up. And down, start rolling the shoulders. Really push that chest out as you're rolling them. And at the back, I want you to make sure those shoulder blades are crushing together. These are the muscles that as you're working, hunched over a computer, get very tight and they get weaker as you get older. Take it as high as you can. Keep breathing, a couple more. And let's roll that right arm with that full range of motion. Keep the core tight and the abs. A couple more this way. And then let's switch direction. Keep breathing throughout. Hand base on the hip, switch sides, let's go forward. Really try and get that range of motion, switch sides. Just mark the movement and then get a little bit quicker. Let's get both arms going. Really push that chest out as you're coming round. And then switch sides the other way. That's good, let's open the chest. So flapping the arms out. Really pushing that chest out each rep. Starting to feel the heart rate go up. into some side band bends, brace the feet, abs tight, get those arms up nice and high, try not to bend forward too much, it's very tempting to come like this, but we want to be nice and upright, we get those arms up high, opening the sides of the body, we tend to just kind of do the front and the back, but we have to open the sides as well, in life, keep that going, and then let's Get the hip rolls going. Hands tight on hips, core tight, and make a full circle. Keep breathing, switch sides. Good. I think just about shoulder width, arms straight. And we're going to open up the gate like this. So make sure you're balanced on that leg really open up the groin there. One more, then we're going to switch direction, coming from the outside. If you find it hard to balance, you can hold on to something, a door if you've got one handy. And switch sides. Oh, really feel that hip. And the groin opening up there. And then switch sides all the way around and back in. Keep breathing throughout. Okay, we're going to go to some shallow squats. So not too deep because we want to get some blood running through the legs, get the knees warmed up. We're going to go quite quick now. Start to get the heart and lungs moving, heart rate up. Keep that going, guys. With a couple into some star jumps. Really start to feel the heart rate and the whole body getting warm now. Okay, stand still, 
And again, we're just going to put the hands on the hips. And I just want you to kick that knee up. Start with the right leg. Get that knee nice and high. One more. Switch legs. Good. Kicking that left knee high. Keep it under control on the way down. Watch your balance. One more. And we do some big full body circles. So nice wide squat. Take the arms up. Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe in. One more. Well done, guys. Let's end it there. We're going to do a giant set, so four exercises tagged together. First exercise we're going to do is press-ups. So get yourself into a press-up position. Again, depending on your ability, you can go up to into a press-up position like this, where you'll be coming down and up, or you can easily drop the knees. So, let's go. Down and press. Don't let the chest sag, you want to keep it full and controlled. We're not doing this movement really quick. We really want to feel it in the muscle. <sighs> Slowly down. <sighs> That's good. As you can see, we're going down nice and slow. Elbows in. We don't want to flare them too much. It's much easier for the shoulders if we keep the elbows in. If you're struggling with the regular press up, just drop the knees like this, but keep the motion going. And up, good. Keep going, we'll do three more reps. Think about the muscles that you're working, the chest, the shoulders, the triceps on the back of the arm here. And finish there. Good. Next exercise we're gonna do is a bent over row, working all the muscles in the upper back. We're gonna use the band, and we're gonna stand on it making two little handles like this. I'll show you again from the side. The back wants to be straight, so you don't wanna be rounded like this. You wanna be sat back in the straight back position. From here, we're gonna pull the bands up, shoulder blades together, and slowly down. Pull up, hold, shoulder blades together, come down. If that's too hard for you, you can make the band into a single, and bring it up like that. Again, from the side, you can see my back's nice and straight, not rounded, chest is full, Great exercise to work all the muscles in the upper back, the postural muscles, and also targeting the biceps. That's three. One more, and we're gonna hold on the top bit, retracting those shoulder blades. Two, one, slowly down, good. We're gonna step through the band to do a tricep extension. So as you can see from the side there, my back leg straight. To make it a little bit easier, hold it at the end of the band. The elbows braced behind the head, right on the side. Squeezing the triceps, the muscles down the back of the arm here as we come up. And again, keep it slow on the way down. And press. Don't hold your breath. Keep breathing throughout. Core is tight, body's braced. You don't want to be moving about. You want to keep completely solid. As you can see here, getting full range of motion all the way down, all the way up, which is really important. We don't want to be doing half movements. One more rep. Good. Face the front, just take a few seconds just to get into position. And we're going to go into a bicep curl. So we're holding it like a hammer. Hammer curl like this. So again, full range of motion all the way up, slowly down. Remember, the hinge point, the muscle we're working is here. So that's where the movement's coming from. We don't want to be lifting the elbows, which bring the shoulders into play, all in the bicep. <sighs> Squeeze at the top, slowly down. Keeping that tension right through the range of motion and the tempo nice and slow on the way down.
Let's last one. And down. Good. Straight into presser position. Second set. So again, decide where you're going to be. If you're going to be on your knees, if you're going to be in full press up, and keep those elbows in. Keep breathing. Elbows want to be tracking the body this way. They don't want to be flaring out too much. Better for the shoulder health. Decide if you want to be in this position like Andy, where you're completely engaging the core or dropping the knees, making it slightly easier, but you're still working the chest fully. Last couple of reps. Good. Grab the band. We're going to go straight into that bent over row. So you decide if you want to have the double handles like this, or you want to go with a single. And again, really important to get the full range. So the arms are going all the way down straight, high as you can. And at the top, if you look at it from the back, the shoulder blades crushing together, really working these muscles here. And these are the muscles here, these postural muscles that really weaken as we get older. And also if we're in a job, hunched over a computer, the posture starts to sag. So these ones we really need to strengthen. Last three. Good, one more. Really hold at the top here just to milk that bit. And hold, two, one, down, good. We're gonna step into the band, triceps, the back of the arm. Target that muscle. I know a lot of ladies call them bingo wings. They wanna actually directly hit those muscles. Well, this is a good way of actually working the muscle. If you can do this, along with some good fat burning exercises, it's a great way to tone the arms. Keeping it slow on the way down the eccentric, which is this bit here. And that's really the important part of the exercise, which is gonna make you, or help you change your body shape. And slowly down and really tense at the top. Think about the muscles that you're working around the back here. Last two, you can see there. And this is really working. Shallow struggling. <laughs> Face the front, last set. Everybody in position. Biceps, hammer curl, and. Slowly down. Squeeze at the top. Last five. Keep it going. And three. Remember, we're working those arms, slowly down. And finish. Well done, guys. Excellent workout. 20 10 intervals. So, once again, here we want to be hitting 8 out of 10 on the RPE scale. We really want to crank that heart rate up. We're going to start with some sprints. So, in position, and let's go. So again, get those arms racing as fast as you can. Feet, fast feet, fast feet, fast feet. Keep it going. I'm gonna crank that heart rate right up. That's good, come on Shala. Knees high. That's good Andy, keep it going. Let's, come on, push it. This is the, the high intensity intervals. We've gotta hit that eight out of 10. Two, one, 10 seconds rest. Okay, from the sprints we're gonna go into the squats. High arms as we do this. Start off fairly steady, then build. And let's go. You want to keep these quick. Really pushing the chest out. Get the arms involved as well. That's good. Keep it going. Really want to be working the legs here, the arms, cranking the heart rate up. Two, one, 10 seconds. Hold, take the time. Okay, we're going straight back into sprints. Really want to have fast feet here. And let's go. Fast feet, fast feet, fast feet. If you've got any problems with impact, just get those arms going as fast as you can. If you can take it up, if you can crank it up a notch, get those knees high, high knees. Really, let's go, come on. 
Fast speed, come on guys. Four, three, two, one, 10 seconds and hold. Take a breath, use the time. Going straight into the squats. Two, one, and let's go. Let's take this up a notch. It's only three minutes in total, so I really want to be pushing it to the limit. Keep it going. Excellent form, keep it going. Fast, fast, fast. Working the legs, just watch your tracking of your knees. You still want to have great form as you're doing this. You don't want to be cranking the knees in, you want to be coming out. Two, one, 10 seconds. Use the time, catch your breath. Going straight into sprints. Two, one, and let's go. Use the arms, take the knees a little bit higher. Last 10 seconds, push it. Everyone at home, let's go, keep it quick. Three, two, one, time. 10 seconds, take a breath. We're going into squats, two, one, and let's go, last one. Let's finish on a high, really get some speed up here. Remember, you're eight out of 10. That's where you want to be. Four, three, two, one, time. Your heart and lungs should be racing. <laughs> That's where you want to be. Well done. A giant set to blast the core. First exercise, we're going to get straight in with the plank. So in position, we're gonna hold it, just decide where you wanna be, if you wanna be on your arms in pressure position, if you'd rather be here, on your elbows or drop the knees, and we're gonna hold. <sighs> Keep breathing. Keep that core engaged. Relax the shoulders and hold. You really wanna feel it around here. In five, four, Three, two, one. I'm gonna go into a side plank. So, we can come in this position and hold, or on the elbow and drop the knees. You decide where you wanna be, hold that position, working all down the side there. Muscles that are often missed. If you wanna make it a little bit harder, you can raise this arm. Down, switch sides, straight into the other side. In position, we'll all start together. And up, hold, keeping this off the floor. Again, if you wanna hold the arm up, drop the knees if you find that difficult. Three, two, one. Good, so work the sides, the front, we're gonna go to the back here into a sphinx pose, so head facing down, and we're just gonna up, and we can feel that in the lower back. We wanna strengthen that lower back, which again is a muscle as we get a little bit older, that tends to weaken. And if you find this very easy, you can push up a little bit more, and back down. You just decide what works for you. And don't rush this, this is nice and slow. Feeling it in the lower back there. Working the muscles. You don't want to feel any sharp pains. Last one. Hold. And up. Good, we're going to put the face down, make a little pillow with your hands. Turn your face to the side. Legs straight, and we're just going to lift one leg at a time. All the way up, and tap the floor. This is a great exercise to work all the muscles from the lower back down to the glutes, that posterior chain here. That's good. Last two. Up and hold. The last one we're gonna hold for three seconds. Down and one more and up and hold. Two, 
One, good. Switch legs, straight in. So the upper body stays completely straight here, all relaxed, and you're feeling the hinge point or where the exercise starts wants to be all down here, working all these muscles, which often get ignored as we're getting older, if we sat down a lot. Keep it going. Good, last one, and we're gonna hold this one, and up for three, two, one, down. Good, from there, you're gonna go straight back up into your plank position. So up into plank, Decide where you want to be, if you want to be in a full press-up plank, if you'd rather stay on the elbows or drop the knees, just depending on your ability, and hold. Keep the neck neutral, so the neck wants to be pointing forward, you don't want to crank it back. This perfect alignment here, that's where you want. Tense the abs and the core, so you're really reminding the body of what muscles are being worked. Four, three, two, one. Well done guys, just switch over onto the other side, going into the side plank. So, that would be an advanced version. You could even lift the leg or drop to the elbow, arm on hip, or just drop that knee. But you still wanna be feeling it in the same place. Real feeling what we're working there. Four, three, two, one. Well done guys, switch sides. You can turn the other way, but then they'll be facing me, so we want them to face you. In position, and let's go. Good, you decide what works for you. If it's on the elbow, if it's dropping the knees, hold that position, keep the core tight and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Good, chest on the floor, into sphinx position. We're coming up with the lower back. Remember, you don't want to feel any pain here, this is to strengthen the lower back. So we're coming up. Up. If you want to make it a bit more intense, you can push all the way up if that works for you and down, a little bit harder. Keep it going guys. Last two. And remember, the movement starting here, that's where you want to feel it. Okay, little pillow for you. Head, leg straight, and the right leg we're going to bring up. If you want to make this a bit harder, just don't touch the floor. Keep it slightly off the floor as you're going up and down. This is where the movement's coming from. Lower back, glutes. Good, switch legs. Last set. Keep the core tight, breathe through it, don't hold your breath. Relax the shoulders. Last two. One more rep. And hold. Well done guys, core, side, lower back, worked. First exercise, we're gonna take the arms up nice and high, fully stretch interlink the fingers together and we're just going to lean over to the right hand side <sighs> opening up the side of the body here again you want to keep the body as straight as possible try to avoid leaning forward so we're pushing up and to the right we're going to hold that <sighs> if you find that difficult you can put your hands a little bit lower like this or keep them up high get that big stretch wants to come from here, this is the hinge point, back to the middle, take a breath and then over to the left. <sighs> Keeping the body upright, pushing upwards and 
to the right, to the left, sorry. Back to the upright position. I'm gonna go backwards, do a small back bend, eyes back. If you're struggling with that, put your hands on your hips, pushing the hips forward. And hold. And then from there, back to the top. We're then gonna open up the upper back. So intertwine the fingers together, round the back like that, so the traps, the upper back, are really opening up. And just put your head down slightly. Take the stress off the neck. Hold that position. Just breathe through it. Nice big breath. You can really feel that across the back. Take the arms out behind the body here. And we're just going to open up that chest. Really push the chest forward. Arms back. Hold that movement. Keep the body square. Try not to lean forward, keeping very upright. One more breath. Take the right arm up. I'm going to give the triceps a stretch. Try to avoid pulling on the joint. We're just pulling the triceps here back, and we want to be stretching this muscle here. Breathe through it. Getting a good stretch there and then switch arms. Onto the other side, again avoiding the joint, just pulling back just below the elbow. Good, stretch the arms in the air. Take them down onto the hips. Some nice slow hip rolls there. In that full range of motion. Nice and steady this time. And then we switch sides. From here we're going to go into a quad stretch, which is the muscle down the front of the leg here. If you find it hard to balance, maybe find a wall or a door to hold of. And then we're just going to pull the back up. And what's important here as we're stretching, we don't want to be pulling the leg back. The hips want to be pulled forward and you want to be feeling it stretching down the front of the leg. And just hold that. Really feel that down the front there. Switch sides. Again, just get your core tight, get the balance. I'm going to pull it up, the knee in, avoid this move. Oops, see there, I need a walk. And just pull back and push those hips forward to feel it down the quad and hold. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath during these stretches. Into the hamstrings, you want to keep the back nice and straight. We're going to just bring it down slowly till you feel a pinch in those hamstrings. And the opposite hand wants to come towards the foot. And once you get there, you want to lift the foot just to get that extra stretch off the floor again. You don't want to be pushing on your knee. Just rest your hand on the top of the leg there. And you should feel that right down the back of your leg. Again, if you see from the side, the back, nice and straight. You don't want to be hunched around. And hold. Good, we switch sides. So again, start with foot flat, opposite arm, hand on the thigh. Stretch down and to get that extra stretch, we just slightly lift the foot off the floor and breathe through, pulling all the way down the hamstring there. That's good. Take to the floor, we're going to open up the hip flexors. So we're just going to push into this stretch here, feeling it all the way down here. These are the muscles that get really tight when we're working in office, when we sat down, when we're driving. I just want to push into that and we're going to hold. Then you can put your right arm on the floor and we're just going to stretch the left arm back and open the chest as we're opening the hip flexors. Again, depending on your range of motion, you can go straight up like this or if you haven't got great flexibility or mobility, it might be a little bit lower. 
and I'm going to open up the other side, so just put the forearm on the knee and open the chest. If you want to shorten the lever, if you struggle with that, you can put the hand on the hip and breathe. Good, we're going to switch sides. So, hip flexor on the opposite side, start with the lunge, push forward, body nice and straight, feeling it right down the thigh here, and hold. Keep breathing. Very tempting to hold your breath when you're doing stuff like this. We're cooling down now, getting the body back. Good. Hand on the floor, open up the right arm and twist. Opening the chest there and again still pushing into the hip flexors. And then just put your right forearm on your thigh and open the chest. That's good, and we're just going to finish on a back twist. So lay on the floor, knees up like this, arms out wide, and all you're going to do is put your knees over to the right hand side, put your head on the floor and slightly look to the left. And just hold that. To make this a little bit harder, put your knees a little bit higher. And then back to the centre and over to the left. Again, if you want to make it harder, the knees a little bit higher and look the opposite way just to give that neck a nice stretch as well. Hopefully you should feel nice and relaxed now, muscles cool down. Enjoy the rest of your day.